Hello everyone, this is Asha Jacob. You are watching acrylic painting tutorial on Taiga YouTube channel. Here you will get step by step painting tutorials. Please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button to get the regular notifications of my videos. And other thing is uh, observe the shape of the tree you are going to paint and how they fit into your overall piece. Are they tall and slim, short and round, large and majestic? Do the branches stick out randomly like a bad case of a bed head? Are they mostly in shadow or in direct light? Are the trees all of the same species or are they different types uh, of leaves and colors on the sum of the trees? Having a good idea of what exactly you are painting will help with your composition. You can add a few leaves or whole tree to fill in gaps you don't like or add a dead tree to make it more interesting. The great thing about art is that you can take a reference photo and make it your own by adding or subtracting a few artistic touches. Painting tree is more about recreating the patterns and shapes you see than placing each individual leaves and branches in the right place. Color mixing for the trees, you can mix several shades of greens with a palette of blue and yellows to give your scene more interest and give you more flexibility over with the colors in your painting. A good palette to start with would be uh, ultramarine blue or thalo blue, cadmium yellow, burn umber, white and alizarin crimson and a tiny touch of black for the painting leaves and trunks. Here are some basic mixes with uh, cadmium yellows and uh, some kind of rainbow colors there are many many more combinations you can mix to get almost a color you want add more yellow to make them lighter or more blue to make them darker When you finish with your tree trunk, add some foliage to your tree. Start with the darkest color of your palette. Here I have used a black uh, color and uh, uh, you can use a flat brush or fan brush for the uh, foliage purpose. Here I have used some, uh, some old brush with rough bristles and uh, you can uh, just simply lightly touch on your paint and lightly dab over the different branches and don't cover it completely but just enough to give it some background. The dark color will act as a shading for your tree.
Next, add some of your mid-tone in the same manner, filling in a few more gaps and adding some depth. Don't go overboard. Most of the trees have some sky showing through and you want to leave enough dark color showing through to add some shading. Now finally you can add some light tones and highlights to make your tree to pop up. So do this light lightly with your fan brush or your flat brush just here and there to mimic the sun hitting to the leaves. So the tree painting is basically uh, just three steps or three layer of shadings first is laying a dark background and next is adding a mid tones and final is adding a light tones so these different three shades give you proper realistic touch and also depends on your uh, style of uh, your uh, or how you use the brushes and how you make the tiny dots it appear as a leaf so these are the important factor to make the trees looking beautiful.